when I was here last time, I went through a terrible breakup. Clunk, 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 clunk. I know. Now, why, what we're really wanting you to hear is, why talk about that? So here you are, visiting with infinite intelligence. You've got a vortex full of things that you want, someone who can guide you right to them. And instead, you're talking about stuff that won't let you move in the direction of what you want. And the reason that you're doing it, everyone understands it, everyone does it. Esther does it too sometimes. But we don't let any of you off the hook about right. it because right. as you are focusing upon any of that, you're holding yourself in resistance to what you really want. It's just that simple. And the more important thing is that you're keeping active a vibration that makes yes. it more likely to do it again and to do it again and to do it again. Oh, yeah. So did you hear us a little bit yes, ago? Yes, absolutely. It was when we said to you that here you stand in your powerful now. Now matters so much. We're going to give something to you that is very blunt and sure. Your inner being never looks back. So your inner being isn't looking back to a bad breakup. Your inner being isn't looking back there. So when you do, you disconnect from your inner being. It's just that simple. Your inner being is not looking back. Your inner being is only looking forward. So your inner being is looking forward with you toward all of the wonderful things that are coming to you. Yes, because of that breakup, because that breakup, those bad experiences are what caused you to put good stuff in your vortex. But look at what you put in your vortex, not the reason that you put it in your vortex. So yeah. what's going on here, and don't feel bad about it, everybody does it, you're standing in a place not yet having manifested or received or realized the things that you really want. And so there's still this sort of justifying, it's a sort of human tendency. I need to explain to you why I'm not quite doing better. I need to explain to you where I've come from. But yeah. every time you explain where you've come from, you go back there and you assume that vibrational posture, yes. which is resistance to where you want to go. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> So then how do I tell you what my problem is? <laughs> well, here's the question that we have for you. So do you think that when you know you have a problem, that you know the solution that you're looking for? Can you feel the difference between talking about the problem and looking for the solution? Yes. Without justifying needing the solution by activating the problem. You see, that's the thing. If you need to activate the problem in order to justify or defend the reason for the solution, then you're in deep doo-doo because you're putting energy in both directions and you move nowhere. Yeah. And no one can sort it out for you but you. It's the releasing of the resistance that causes you to move toward what you're wanting. There's a vibrational variance between a solution and a problem. There's a vibrational variance between a question and an answer. So it's just focusing more in the direction of what you want without explaining too much where you've come from. It's like saying, I want to go high up on that house or on that silo or on that mountain, but first I'm going to dig a really deep hole and I'm going to get in it and then I'm going to climb out of the hole and then I'll start climbing up. Yeah. And we say, or you could just start where you are, <laughs> save yourself the trouble of all that digging. Yeah. Yeah. Because that digging stinks. Okay, so I'm not going to dig. So I... So just ask a straightforward question. I... You can, can't you? Can, can you? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I can. I mean, I tried to do the focus wheels, and I can't get the hang of them. And I started with, like, I love mozzarella sticks. We're not asking you to do a focus wheel. We're just asking you to come and tell us what you want. Okay. Not okay. what you don't want. Not how it okay. hasn't worked. Just tell us what you want. So I do, I want... See, this is the problem. I'm not even no. positive anymore. No. no. There isn't a problem. Oh, okay. There's only you with a little distance between where you are and where you want to be. But can you turn to where you want to be and just describe where you want to be? Yes. yes. Just describe where you want to be. I want to be happy. I might want to be back with my ex-boyfriend or have the right person come to me. I'm a little split now. I'm not sure, but I think that I'd like to just have the choice, you know, to have him come back. Now, you know that we want to climb your tree over that. <laughs> so can you say that in a less resistant way? And the way you do that is by getting general. I really like to be in a relationship. I really like someone to focus upon. I really like to love. I really like to 
have someone to do things for. I really like someone looking back at me and loving me. I love the idea of being with someone and having this mutual appreciation for each other. That's all clear. That's all pure. There's no resistance in any of that. And you want every bit of that. But it's hard for you to say that because you're all wrapped up in what you don't want. I'm so wrapped up. So you have to stay (laughs) off that subject altogether. This is the thing that we really want you to hear. Since you've already asked, not just in your words here, but you've been asking for a long time, your life experience caused you to ask. So there's a very strong asking that your inner being is hearing and your inner being knows exactly how to get you from where you are to all of that. But every time you tell the story of where you've been or how you feel, then it just puts a smoke screen up that makes it impossible for you to hear or for you to follow any of the guidance that your inner being is giving you. You can't even hear us. And don't feel bad about it. Everybody gets that. When you feel like you're feeling, you just can't get there. So let's say there are five things you want and four of them are working great, but this one, not so much. If you could focus on any one of the four things that are working, that one would come into alignment. Or you can focus upon the one that isn't working and mess up the other four. Anything you're focused upon is either opening or closing your switch of alignment to the clarity that you want. Look at it that way. Whatever you're focused upon is really flipping the switch of whether you're in a place where you can hear or where you're in a place where you can't hear. And then I try to go to work and I hate my job. So I've been thinking of that all day. Like, I, I dislike my job very much. So it's like, not like I can escape the heartbreak. And then I go to my job and I'm like, I try to make it wonderful. No, you don't. <laughs> well, you didn't try just now, at least. Yeah, In no, other words, I, you it's said, so hard. I hate my job. You said, I hate my job. I shouldn't say that word. Well, it doesn't matter whether you say it or not. The universe isn't responding to your words. The universe is responding to how you feel. So two down, how many have we got to go? (laughs) Is is there anything you don't hate or that you're not heartbroken over? I mean, I have so many blessings. I'm so grateful to God for all my blessings. But Well, let's talk about some of them. Because you could pick any one of them and use it as your reason for alignment. And if you did it for a little while, for a steady enough time, then the other things would come into alignment. I have suffered terrible, terrible OCD. Obsessive but you see, here we go again. Here we no, go again. I'm like, that's my grateful thing. When we broke up, I got better. And so that, I mean, I was homebound the last year. At here, we go. Time. here we go. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. We're all halfway to China. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm so glad I'm up here. I'm so glad. Thank you. So here's something that is really wonderful. Your desire is strong enough that even with all this resistance around you, you still light it up. So you have as much desire as anyone who we have ever talked with. So your vortex is really pulsing in a very strong way. But we just want to say to you, you can't get to any of those things you want as long as this is what's coming out of your mouth. And it isn't that we want this to just stop coming out of your mouth. We want you to stop feeling about these things. And the only way you can stop feeling this way is you've got to stop focusing on them and keeping them active because law of attraction will just keep bringing you more and more and more and more that's why one thing just leads to another and another thing and another thing and another thing and another thing so then should I do a focus wheel? (laughs) well the value of a focus wheel is to help you to focus differently but when law of attraction is yielding to you so many things that are not pleasing that a focus wheel will most likely just frustrate you it did. It did frustrate me because I, I, I was trying to do it and I wasn't getting the hang of it. So we're going to take five more minutes with you. And during these five minutes, we want to help you to soften these subjects that are bothering you. Just soften them. So relative to the relationship, that was then, this is now. I see him with a new relationship on Facebook. He posted it and it broke my heart. And it's, it's like, I can't wrap my head around it. Like, I can't. It's, it's hard. And yeah. I shouldn't. It's all right. That's what keeps going. And I have OCD, so I keep thinking of the same thing. So what you're saying to us is somebody has given you the label that you are a strong thinker. And we want to give law of attraction a label. Law of attraction responds powerfully to the thoughts you think. So 
you focusing a lot on things you don't want and law of attraction then yielding more to you of what you don't want is what causes you to be a strong thinker so the people who are labeling you OCD are not factoring in law of attraction because if they were they would say what happens is when you give your attention to something and you're looking really often at it you activate a vibration within you that makes it difficult for you to think or see it in any other way so what do you want us to say to you you might as well just give up because you don't have discipline of thought we don't believe that for a moment because you have a powerful enough desire that even with all this garbage that you're laying on the other end of the track you still light it up your desire is still very strong so there's not only just hope for you getting to what you want it's a sure thing in the moment that you let go of all of this other stuff what has made you so defensive why do you need to explain so much why you're not where you want to be because you're a human being and you've been relating to others and others are looking at you and you feel like you're the center of attention and people are looking at you and wanting to know why things aren't working out better for you but the reason is always the same you can't get there from here you've got to do something different if you want something different to be your experience and that's why it's thrilling to us that when you found the clips on YouTube and were watching them you felt resonance with them and the reason you felt resonance with them is because you were off the subject from moment to moment of things that were bothering you and you got tuned right in with who you are and you recognize oh this makes sense to me you were feeling your power coming back but when you then try to apply that power to something that's really bothering you law of attraction won't yield to you Esther said to us on many occasions Abraham can't I just be the one exception in all of the universe to this law of attraction can't you guys give me a break and we say no because what you want and in your inner being is up here and when you're down here your inner being will not come down to join you now listen to this this is the most important thing your inner being will not come down here to join you and it's your separation between you and your inner being that's bothering you not your separation between you and your boyfriend you're blaming it on that separation you're using that separation as your excuse but it's your separation from your inner being now we're standing here with you and because of what's going on in this room and because of our focus upon you we are able and through Esther we are able to find words but even though we're finding words we're still not connecting with you because you're in a different vibrational frequency than we are you just can't hear us from where you are so we're gonna back up and be more general you are the creator of your own experience and you are doing better than you are giving yourself credit things are getting better for you but it's hard for you to see because you want perfection everyone does things are getting better for you but not fast enough for you but if you can try to be a little patient you will begin to see that there is movement in the things that you want things are working out for you there all things have come together in your vortex to give you exactly what you want in fact you've been asking with such fervor that your vortex is calling you in a very powerful way and do you know the harder your inner being and your vortex the harder what you want is calling you the more you are aware of where you stand in relationship to it so any subject that is not working for you you've got to get your attention off of it and that is not an easy thing it's not an easy thing relative to your physical body these are the three your physical body money and love those are the subjects that are the most difficult for people not to notice where they are and we want to shout at you but you're not looking where it is where it is is over here where everything that you want is and you say no I'm over here where it isn't and we say no it's over here everything that you want is over here just feel for it a little bit and you say well I'm looking for it over here and I don't see it and we say well just feel for it just feel for it a little bit because if you get even anywhere close to it then you begin to get movement and your positive thoughts begin to turn to positive things and before you know it you've had some things breaking loose for you there are glimpses yes and then there become more and more and more and more we wanted to begin with you not because we wanted to beat up on you because that certainly is not our intention and not because you are an example of someone who is doing terribly <laughs> you know why we wanted you to begin because you represent every person in this room to some degree every one of them have those things that they're stuck on because a belief is just a thought you keep thinking and a belief is an active vibration that won't let another thought in so you got to soften those beliefs